What up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is Tyler with TarperAcademy.com, and it's time to learn something, shall we? Okay, today's problem, I worded it weird, but I'm gonna explain it, and then you give it a shot, and then I'll explain how to do it. We wanna put a line that crosses through the coordinate two, four, and the coordinate eight, negative 10, we wanna put it in slope-intercept form, okay? You probably came to my channel from slope-intercept form, it's my, the, the problem that people like, and it's the one I apparently helped with, so I'm gonna expand on that and do another example problem. So we've got two, four, that's a coordinate, that means it's a point on a graph. It's a point somewhere, it's two, four, so it's like right there, and then you've got eight, negative 10, so you go eight, negative 10. All right, and so you wanna find out, there's a line that runs through those two. You wanna find out what the equation of that line is, and you wanna put it in slope-intercept form. So I'm gonna let you pause this, give it your best shot, just try your best. And then I'm gonna explain how to do it. Ready, one, two, three, go. Okay, cool, let's work the equation, shall we? All right, so first thing you need to know is what is slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, okay? That's great, grand, and wonderful, but if you don't know what those letters of the alphabet mean, then this equation means you can get a lot of Skittle for you, okay? X and y are your coordinates. Okay, they can be any coordinate on this line because this represents the equation of a line. And so X and Y would be any coordinate on that line. M is your slope and B is your Y intercept. Okay, um, slope is just like how steep the line is. It's your rate of change. It's how steep that line is that, that you we're working with. The equation of this line, it's how steep it is. And then your Y intercept that's where it crosses the y-axis. Like again, when I showed this earlier, this is your y-axis. So wherever that line crosses, that's your y-intercept, okay? It's just telling you the number that that is on, on the y-axis. Okay, so let's, let's solve this equation. The first thing you need to do is you gotta find the slope, okay? First thing you're gonna do is find the slope. So I'm gonna put step one. Step curry with a shot, boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, step one. Okay, step one, you find the slope. The equation for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so we label our stuff because I'm a big fan of labeling, so I think I've got another color. So we'll make this um, y2, this will be y1 and x1, and then x2 and y, um, y2, okay? Now that I've labeled that, I'm really just pulling these out and putting in what it's attached to. So our y2, I said is negative 10, minus our y1, which is four, x2 is eight minus sine and our x1 is two. Okay, and then I just solve it. Solve the top first. Look at them as like two separate problems. Negative 10 minus four is negative 14. And then eight minus two is six. Okay, can that be reduced? Yes, it can. Because those are both even numbers, it can be negative seven over three. Wow, I got a weird slope. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so whenever we're doing that, I've found my step one, my step curry with a shot, boy. So that's negative seven over three, x plus b. And then we gotta do our y-intercept, okay? To do our y-intercept, you are going to find that. Like whenever you do slope, all you care about to find the equation for slope-intercept form is your m and your b, okay? We don't care about x and y because that can be any coordinate on the line. You can pick any x in the world and there will be a y attached to it, okay? If it's a straight line. So, <clears throat> it's not undefined. Okay, so we got our equation here. I need to find B. You're thinking, how can you find it, Tyler, if I don't have X and Y? You do. Any coordinate on this line can be your X and Y. You happen to have two of those coordinates. I'm gonna use this one because these numbers look easier. So I'm gonna use my Y, which is four, equals negative seven over three. I'm gonna put that in parentheses because it's hard to see. And then our X is two plus B, okay? We've got four here. I'm gonna keep that where it is. I'm gonna multiply these two first. So I've got I mean, negative 14 over three plus B. And then our last step is we add, it's a negative, so we do the opposite because we're going across the equal sign. So I'm gonna add four plus 14 over three. So it's gonna be 20, negative 26 over three, I think, unless I jacked that up. Okay, so I added that over there. Four plus that is this equals B. This is the ugliest problem ever, I'm sorry, but it is how to work it, and you're gonna get ugly problems occasionally, especially if they just make it up off the top of their head. So I found 
my B, which is step two. Okay? So now I just plug those in and I'm done. So I've got Y equals M, which we know is negative seven over three, X plus B, which is, oh, whoa, guys, I almost messed up. You guys didn't tell me. There's no negative there, because that's positive four, and we're adding 14 over three. So I'm adding that over there. So there's no negative. Wow, that was a close one. If you caught that before I did it, add 10 points to Gryffindor, so that's positive 26 over 3. And that is our answer, ladies and gentlemen. You just learned some slope-intercept formula using ugly coordinates. Hope that helped. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and get other people to subscribe too because you don't want to miss out on this kind of action. What up? I almost made that.